Hi guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is the last day of February, February 28th. Um, and so I wanted to make this video because it is part of a cow or a collab that I am participating in with Dina and Pamela and Jennifer and uh, I can't remember everybody else. I'll link them below. But it's a whole group of us. We all got this calendar. The, uh, I think it's called, it's a good, it's a good day to crochet calendar. Um, I can only find it on one place right now. It's sold out on Amazon and Barnes and Nobles. I think it was in Target, but I'll, I'll link to one of them below <laughs> if you're still interested in getting it. But it does come with a bunch of patterns. It's an actual calendar. And then in the back of it, it's got all the patterns on paper. So, uh, anyways, our, uh, collab is to work on the projects each month. So, um, we got a late start because, uh, the, I, oops, <laughs> the idea was uh, wasn't thought of at the beginning of the year. So they, um, Dana said we could do the January one or just skip it. But I went ahead and did the January one and the February one. So I'm going to share those with you today. And then I'm going to show you the picture of the March one. And then towards the end of March, I will show you my finished object with it. And then uh, show you April's, you know, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> but anyways, so there's calendar. So January's project was this tapestry circle. And this was a pretty fun pattern, super easy. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it would be used for good. You know, like you could make uh, pot holders and stuff out of it. But I wanted to make a decoration because I like uh, decorating my house for holidays. And so I made two of them and I put them together and then I crocheted a little extra onto it. And I made a balloon, <laughs> Ta -da! a Halloween themed balloon. So um, there's my tapestry circles, there's two of them. This is Red Heart, I think Carrot or Pumpkin, I can't remember black and white and yeah so i just made two of them i carried my yarn behind you know because i knew i was going to be sewing them together so uh i didn't carry it through there because i don't i don't like the way it looks when it's like peeking through so i just carried it behind and uh then i did just put them together and i single crocheted um them all together and i used the the right color yarn so that they would you know i used white there and orange there and white and orange and then just crocheted just a little bit on the end. So it's going to be balloon. <laughs> and I'm actually going to have a string hanging from it. And I'm probably going to hang a ghost or a little Frankenstein or something from it. A little amigurumi or something. I just thought it would be cute. <laughs> I don't know. I love decorating for Halloween and Christmas. And uh, that's just what I thought of when I saw that circle. I was like, what can I make with that circle that's not a pot holder or something. So I made a balloon. <laughs> so that's what I did with January's. It's a pretty cool thing. And then February's was this one right here. And the pattern is actually still in the living room. I didn't put it back in here. But it is um, called, I think it's called like the Bavarian Square or something like that. Um, I didn't even read the paper pattern because so many people who had the calendar complained that it was written really weirdly. So I just took their <laughs> warning and I went ahead and did the Natasia, I think is how you say it, one, which is the exact same pattern. It's just she explains better. <laughs> and I made a Christmas one. So I used, uh, these are all red heart too. I can't remember what this green is called, but it's like the hunter green. White, and this is hot red, or red hot. I always forget which one it is. I haven't done my ends yet, but I'll work on that later. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. Uh, I thought about making some kind of wall hanging out of it. I could add like some tassels or something. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far, <laughs> but I did get square finished. So yeah, this is actually a pretty easy pattern once you get it down, but it, I probably won't make a lot of them because <laughs> it's like a time consuming one and uh, it's a lot of treble crochets, which I don't enjoy doing. <laughs> and um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it <laughs> is uh, it was, you know, it's an okay pattern. I like the way it looks. It'd be a beautiful big blanket or something. It's just more work than I would want to do. But yeah, so I made a Halloween and a Christmas <laughs> related um, project out of those two. So for March, it is another square. After March, it gets a little bit harder. So March is, ooh, this really pretty square. Right here, it's like you start as a circle and then a square. It's really pretty, I think. Um, I might, it might be a little bit harder than I think though, because I might need to make multiple ones. I guess I could just get away with making a square, but um, be better to make something. So I don't know, I have to uh, figure out what I wanna make with it. But all the patterns are in the back on a sheet of paper. They're all on one sheet of paper. I need that one and put it back in here so I don't lose it. But um, yeah, so that's cool. 
I'm looking forward to seeing everybody else's because I'm, I'm hoping other people will take liberty of being creative and do other things like I did with the balloon instead of just making like pot holders or whatever. But I don't know. It'd just be fun to see all the colors people pick. Let's see here. After uh, March, well, let's see here. January, February, March. April looks pretty easy too. And then after April, May, June, uh, July, August, September, October, November, and December are more, or larger projects. Well, maybe not so much October. Is that October? It's April, May, June, July, August. No, uh, September. September doesn't look too bad. But there are one, two, three, three Afghan slash blankets, two pillows, or three pillows, and then a bag. I think, um, April's is... Yeah, it's got amigurumis and stuff. It's like a mobile, like a baby mobile. That'll be fun to make, I think. I'll have to get a hoop or something to make with it. But yeah, so here's like a rough showing of the patterns that's in there. I really like this blanket with the pom-poms on it. It's really cute. I don't know if I'll put pom-poms on it though, because my pom-poms stink and they always fall apart. <laughs> but anyways, that's my two patterns, or my two projects for the hashtag crochet calendar fun collab that's going around. I will link below everyone else who's participating in it. I know I forgot a couple of them, but I tried to remember <laughs> all of them. Um, so you can definitely check out their channels and check out their videos when they put them up. I think Pamela already shared hers uh, a week or so ago. But uh, everybody else who's participating and has the time to do it will be popping up their videos whenever. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so that's mine. Let me know also if you got this calendar. I know a lot of people have been buying it because all of us uh, podcasters have been talking about it. And uh, so let me know if you're uh, making all the projects too because it's fun. I like this kiwi pillow. I'm going to look forward to making that. And then there's the Christmas tree pillow. So that's fun. <laughs> but, yeah, that's everything, I guess. <laughs> Bye, guys.